द एनलाइट एंड माइंड इज लाइक ए बर्ड इन ए फ्लाइट डज एनी टाइम इट लीव एनी बर्ड लीव एनी ट्रेस ऑफ इट्स पाथ वॉट वी विल से ए बर्ड इज फ्लाइंग ए बर्ड इज फ्लू बाय दैट्स इन द माइंड बट दीज देर ई ट्रेस ऑफ दैट बर्ड्स पाथ for the enlightened practitioner that movement is already gone as the bird never leaves any trace of its flight like the bird from movement to movement the enlightened one does not leave any trace again here the enlightened one is on only on the relative plane on this point of view on the absolute point of view there is no one to and get enlightened on this point of view on the relative point of view there is a someone who gets enlightened so the soul appears to be finite only because of ignorance if we destroy the ignorance then the truth the existence cannot admit any multiplicity the existence reveals itself by itself like the sun reveals itself when the clouds passes away you are the pure awareness with no center because you are every who can corner you are the awareness just for some time in this human in appearance in fact you are the appearance in all you are the essence of the appearance of all the death is discovered in the gap between one movement ceasing and another one beginning that essence is the wakefulness that is our true nature in that moment realization includes everything in true awakening nothing is excluded or nothing is included if we find ourselves in a state where something is excluded that state however awesome that state would be but it's still a dualistic state because there is an observer and there is a observer there is a person who is enjoying that state it's a dualistic state the one who believes himself to be a person need to find out who is that person that is a solution antidote this is offered to the ego who thinks that it exists but by finding it out it never ever existed it never ever existed you abide in that nothingness once you abide in that nothingness you are everything compassion is a greater virtue of that loving kindness that you are love is you you are that loving kindness you are open receptive because you include everyone you are spontaneous ever consistent field of vibration you are don't have origin actually you are a selfless activity which keep on happening you are the only one that ultimately profoundly existence truth that you are when you discover yourself the one who wants to discover is you yourself that is enlightenment but the paradoxical part is there's no person to get enlightened because you are awareness